What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you my top five websites for fonts. So this is a most requested video. There's a lot of different people who have asked for this to learn where to get the best fonts. Now it's going to be a few paid ones in there. So like Adobe font, that's going to be one that you, wow. If you pay for like Photoshop and stuff, you'll already have it. So you should know about it. And then there's ones like uh, Google fonts, which is free to font, which is free. So most of them are going to be free, but there may be a few that you might have to pay for, but obviously it's all a learning curve and hopefully you learn something from this video. Um, and if you do like this video, leave a like down below. Let me know that you like this type of video and I'll do more so you can learn more about the graphics scene. And yeah, that would be great guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so starting off with number five on the list of fonts. Uh, font websites. This is going to be 1001 fonts. So this is a just a basically a basic website. You can download free fonts. It's got a lot of different styles. Um, as you can see, this is the home page. So you can have real funky fonts, stuff like this. I think most of them are free, um, but you can donate to people if you feel the need or if you don't want to, then don't donate. So there's a lot of different types of uh, fonts. Uh, you can ask for the modern ones. So this is a modern script. Um, you can ask for handwritten ones, uh, medium weight, so something more blocky. Uh, there's lots of different things you can look for. So high contrast, as, as I said, loads of different things. You don't have to have them as uh, handwritten. You can ask display. And yeah, they're all um, really helpful fonts, I would say. So even up here, there's a font category you can go through and have a look at. So Christmas fonts. So these are all... Uh, things that people have picked out from different films and different cards and stuff like that from Christmas. Uh, what else is there on here? So there's weight, so you can have hairline, so really thin, and then you can have fat, which is really obviously really big and bold. And so you can go for a mood, groovy or something like that, a style comic. So let's have a look at the comic one. So this one again, using something which is really um, comic-y and texturized and really like hand-drawn look that looks a lot like a comic book you would use well, a font you would see in a comic book so that's pretty much it for this one guys um <clears throat> uses a lot of different type of font and they're all free so have some fun with it have a look at the website if you find some fonts on here you want to use just download them and i'm sure they'll easily go into your font pack and yeah this is uh number five so moving on to number four all right guys so at number four we have font space now font space is a really um interesting one actually it's uh, got a lot of unique fonts i would say so i think it's a little bit more high quality than um something like 1001 fonts just because it uses well it's just got a lot more variation and they all look a bit more cleaner and crisp so for this one it's a similar thing different types of fonts so new fonts this obviously looks a bit like blade runner something like that it's got some really weird fonts as well and then styles you can have a look for so if you go down you can have some older fonts like 1970 fonts so these are all the flicks so like the hippie stuff and that, that one's a really cool font actually euro party so i might actually come back and get that but yeah it's got really an urban one that's really cool so it's obviously got the city cut into the font but this is all free again um free for personal use i don't know about clients or commissions if you're thinking of that but they're all free for personal use again we can have a look at vintage fonts or 80s fonts so 80s again, using a lot of the um, the neon light, the neon light type of designs. Um, so yeah, and really bold fonts. Death Star, the Star Wars one. There you go. So yeah, font generator. I don't know what this is. I guess you can type in some some name or something or something, and it'll analyze it. Designers. So it's got all the designers that actually upload fonts to this website. So if you want to check some of those out, they might have some unique ones that aren't already on the website. So yeah, all stuff like this is good, guys. Just have a look through it. Even at the collections, again, like this one's really cool. The World Your Oyster. Have a look at the website. Go through it. Look at fonts. Look what you want. So even search up in the search. Search for anything. Search up a style that you want, and it might come up. So this is going to be at number four. Let's move on to number three. Okay, guys. So moving on to number three. Now, this is going to be default. Now this is a really, really good website for free fonts. It has loads of different variation. Again, it's got high quality and low quality ones. It's got loads of different types of design. So you can have foreign look, techno, gothic, 
script dingbats i have no idea what that is so let's have a look ancient okay so you can even have little icons instead of a text so it's got that chinese you can have some chinese uh, writing if you're doing something for like a foreign design or something like that these are all cool fonts that you could have um you even got a medieval one again similar for like a medieval london england you could do there's a lot of different things on here guys so retro they're all free as well this is one of my favorites american captain really bold font and as well if you want to check what they will look like you can obviously type in here uh, a preview of what you want it to look like and submit it and then it will come out in your name so something like that which is cool um let's have a look at the old school so this is going to be something like the varsity type from uh, america so they have this little font again there's even that one that's like the 80s neon retro lots of different things hand drawn loads of different bold fonts um grid i don't know what this is okay that's like a really really rough set of uh, drawing that actually looks really cool i actually do like that one um so you just gotta have a look around guys um there's, there's loads of different things kids so hello kitty um valentine's day you can have hearts instead of text you can have hearts within your text so as i said guys you need to have a look around you need to have a look at the um the different styles they do eroded again that's a similar thing it's a nice little bit of text that'd be good for a poster you just need to look around and have a look basically so this is all free um you again you can use the donate feature if you want but i don't recommend uh you do so because it's, it's just no need um, i'm sure they already earn enough money um, but yeah, this is a good one for fonts, guys. I, I use this a lot for my posters. Um, but yeah, come and have a look, see what you think of it, and let's move on to number two. Okay, guys, so moving on to number two. So this is Google Fonts. Again, another free website. This one is a more high quality, I would say. So more clean cut fonts that are bold, nicely uh, designed, all really well thought out with the kerning and stuff. So this one's really for like proper graphics, I would say, instead of sports posters where you just use bold, thick fonts. So obviously you've got stuff like this as well, but it sort of has them all on here in different styles, different weights, different thicknesses. So if you go through it, then you'll um, learn a lot from it. But the main thing about this is that it's all high quality. So you can see it's all very well designed and stuff instead of some of the childish ones that you would get on the previous websites we've looked at. Um, and yeah, I think some of them are commercial use as well, which is good. As you can see, they do all look a lot like the similar, but this is what a lot what graphic designers use on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's nice to have fonts like this. So there's Babers New Year. I've used that a lot on uh, different designs and stuff. So this one is obviously one of my fan favorites because of how bold it is and like it looks compact so it works well for a lot of different things so if you want to try this website i recommend it it has a lot of free stuff and a lot of good fonts even if it's just one for some text uh, not not like a name a bold heading just like some information you can use a font like this for so really just have a look through see if you like any of the fonts like again if i go down here this is another bold one you can use stuff like this so again you can um type your name in here something you want it to preview search for different fonts change the size just so you know what it looks like at different sizes it basically you can do what you want so this is number two guys google fonts really good one very strong one to look at let's move on to number one okay guys so at number one we have adobe fonts now if you have the adobe package this will come in hand with it something i didn't know for a while so i recommend that you have a look at adobe fonts because it has a lot of cool things on it um, a lot of packs and stuff of fonts so we can have a look here so we've got browse fonts now this is going to come up with loads of different random fonts that we can look at so obviously you've got all these so as you can see i looked at kevin durant so i could find a font for my previous poster design so i do find a lot of fonts off here so you can uh, just look at different styles and even over here you can pick what you want it to look like so if i want comic i can pick comic and then it will give me all these different rough styles if I wanted typewriter, I could pick typewriter and then it'll give me that. So this one's a really high quality one. Obviously it's Adobe, it's gonna be good, but I really do recommend having a look at this, especially if you do have the Adobe package. If you don't have the Adobe package, I don't think you're able to use this. So it's really for people who do use the Adobe package, like Photoshop and stuff. Um, but I really do recommend it because it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, definitely have a look at it. So you've got all these fonts in here. Now, if you want different packs that people have made, you can go to font pack. 
and once this loads up you can see it's got different styles so sans pack um, productivity infographics pack so all the fonts that people would use for an infographic you can have band poster stuff so a main like uh, quirky fonts and stuff like that so all cool things that people will look at um, which is really good who the hell is beeping their horn outside my house Jesus Christ get the life out of me um okay so we've got this um skating fonts really rough texture gritty grimy stuff which is really nice to look at uh, and then we have the spark one which is like a modern one so yeah these packs are really good i've downloaded a few of them and i do recommend looking at them and then you got the type kit web fonts so i don't really know what this is but it's another part of it so stunning fonts for your website i guess it's all for websites and then foundries um I'm pretty sure this is some of the fonts that they, uh, they've they used for big projects, yeah. So these are ones that have been used for bigger projects and see like what they've got. Font families, Adobe Originals and who's made them basically, what companies and stuff. So that's just a little bit more extra information. But other than that guys, Adobe Fonts is easily number one on the list because it has a load of high quality ones. They're all high quality and they're all very good to use. And you can just download them and they'll instantly go into your uh, Photoshop or illustrator library and you can use them straight away so that's another positive of, it, of them so yeah guys basically that's it i hope you have enjoyed this font video if you have leave a like and a comment let me know what you think of it if you want to see more of these videos like i don't know best textures or best um lighting websites or stock images anything like that i will do it uh, it's just getting around to doing it that's all I do enjoy doing these types of videos, so if you have enjoyed this, let me know in the comments and we will do more of them in the future. But apart from that guys, hope you've learned something today, I'll leave all the links to these websites in the description below and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.